Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today is going to be the second half of my baby shower haul. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so this first gift is from my Aunt Becky, my cousin Trisha, and my cousin Angel. We all kind of went in together to get this stuff, and they did us up like a big goodie bag. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> the first one here I think is really cute. It's this little like um, suspender and bow tie set. I think that's absolutely adorable. Next thing here is a little hat and has a little L on it and that's going to be so cute. I think we might have to take that with us to the hospital. Then there's a pair of little pants and a little shirt that'll go really well with that. Oh, is that like a onesie? No, it's not. It's just a shirt. But that's going to go really well with those pants. That'll be really make for a really cute little outfit. Then there's another little hat. It's got little tigers all over it. And to go with that, there is a tiger sleep shirt. How freaking cute is that? That's adorable. That's gonna be a minute before he's able to fit into that. That um, says 80Y. I don't really know what size that would be. Um, my guess is this is gonna be close to six plus months, but that is really stinking cute. Oh, I didn't realize this was monogrammed with his name. Okay, so this is probably a set. This is a little sleep shirt or long sleeve shirt. This would be great for this fall and this winter. And it says Levi on and it's been monogrammed. And then the little hat goes with it. How cute is that? That's adorable. That's for three to six months. So that'll be great come this fall and into the winter. Then there's a little cowboy outfit. How cute is that? <laughs> And there's also, this one's adorable. That's so cute. And there's a pair of little Mickey shoes. Those are really cute. And they're for nine to 12 months. And then they got us a few like baby CDs. There's toddler lullabies and a mother's prayer. And then there's some baby books, which is great because we need some baby books. <laughs> I have all of my children's books from when I was a kid, and I put them on a shelf in his nursery, but they're really for children who are probably about three and up. So it'll be really good to have some books that he can carry around, he can chew on them, he can, you know, they're made for babies and toddlers. So that's one of them, Good Night Baby. Then we have Let's Look, the Fisher Price one, and it's got um, animals and stuff like that in it so that'll be fun to read with him and then this one make a noise um it doesn't last long which is good <laughs> and it just has different little like i don't know it's got a little story in it so that'll be fun then there's a uh, baby lullaby discovery kit not entirely sure what that is um comes with a little tiny book and it says, take your baby on a soothing journey with classical lullabies. Oh, it's a DVD. Okay. It's got a little show, concert hall. Okay, that's kind of neat. And then it's got the little book, which is just a little picture book with things to look at. Then here's one. That's um, the snowstorm. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then one more music making book. It's called Animal Melodies. That's kind of what it looks like on the inside. It just makes some noises. <laughs> it's still going. Oh, and then there was also this pacifier. How cute is that? It looks like a little beard. I think that's just adorable. And it'll make him look like his daddy because his daddy grows beard so freaking quickly. Let's hope I don't get like flagged for having music <laughs> from that. <laughs> um, and then this next one here is just for my cousin Trisha. She made crochet this by hand. I think it's so so neat. It's um it's a cover for the car seat. Well it's, it's like a baby blanket, but it's also a car seat cover. So this is what it looks like here. I just can't believe she made this all by hand. She crocheted the whole thing. But then you got these little hooks right here that'll hook on the car seat cover, and then it'll just cover baby so I think that is so freaking neat oh and the little buttons have an L and an S which is going to be his initials 
This next gift here is from my Aunt Robin and my cousin Keisha. And they had a blanket monogrammed for him that says Levi on it and has a little whale. So that's really cute. And then there's a bunch of clothes. <laughs> we have um, little sports stuff. Uh, here's a... Uh, these are swaddlers. Um, you, I'm not, they're not swaddlers. They're like little nightgown type things. You'll see these in my diaper bag for what I'm taking to the hospital for Levi. Uh, I end up getting three sets of this exact same one. I'm undecided if I'll keep them all or not, but um, I've heard they're like really nice to have, so we might keep them all. And a little pair of pants and more onesies. This one says Little Hero. Got some more little fire trucks. And we got red stripes. It says mommy's favorite little dude. Oh, we got some baby booties. I think these are so cute. They look like little shoes. I'm excited about those. So cute. And he got a, what are these called? Star Troopers from Star Wars. I don't know. It comes with a little blanket. My husband was pretty excited about this one. And some bibs. So we've got a little fire truck. And these will go with those onesies really well. Um, Grandma's hero, red stripes and a little hero and we got some more socks and um, hat and mittens uh not sure he'll be able to wear this this winter but by the time he's one or two <laughs> hopefully it'll fit him by then <laughs> then we got some little mittens to keep him from scratching his face and i think this one's cute it's got little monsters all over it okay this next set of gifts here is for my friend bobby she's somebody i went to college with and she gave us some really nice things. Um, first one here is a big old gift basket. And it's just full of stuff. I haven't even opened it yet. And the back here says it's a boy. So super cute. <laughs> um, this video is getting pretty long. So I think I'll go through all of this like on my own later. But it looks like it has like, little teething biscuits. Little teething horse. Some wipes. Bottles. Um diapers and a bib there might be some more stuff in there but that's everything I'm seeing off the top and then she also gave us a goodie bag <laughs> so there's a Mickey Mouse rattle um, little onesie with hat and socks that's Nike and it says blank pounds of pure power so I guess you're supposed to like fill in um, how much they weigh. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So socks and hats there at the bottom. And you can kind of see there at the top corner uh, what the little outfit looks like. Then there's some teething rings. And a little monkey. He does play music and light up and all that stuff, but I'm not going to go pushing buttons because I don't know what happened with that book. It just went on forever. <laughs> there's a pacifier. We've gotten several pacifiers. Someone gave us quite a few, and somehow they didn't end up in the baggies that they went with, so I just put them away. I'll show them to you when I do the room nursery, but I didn't want to like mix everything up. Um, and there's another teething toy, and another teething toy. There's another Nike. This one says, that swoosh life. That is really cute. And it's got the same kind of setup with the hat and the little footies. That is so cute. And another one of I'm the boss um, bibs. <laughs> and an Elmo bib. Got another pacifier. Have some hand sanitizer. These will be great for the... Uh, my diaper bag. I need one of these for my diaper bag and I'll probably put one in my car as well. Then we have some baby lotion. And a little healthcare kit. And two more things in here. We've got the baby wash and some baby powder. And before I forget, my cousin Keisha made this wall hanging for us. Some of you may recognize the handprints there. Um, that This is the shirt that my husband and I used to do our gender reveal. So that's my husband's hands print, my husband's handprints in blue paint on my belly. I can insert the picture here. Uh, 
And then she just hung it in a window frame and it says Levi with our last name. So I'm covering that up. And it's got his um, ultrasound picture over here. <laughs> Okay, so this next gift here is from my Aunt Jane. So she sent us a couple of like little sleep gowns or baby gowns. I don't really know what you want to call them, but I think they're going to really come in handy. Uh, I've got a couple that we're taking with us and the diaper bag for Levi to come home in from the hospital just because I think it'll be uh, easier on his umbilical cords with like rubbing and stuff. But um, yeah, there's what they look like, little baseballs. And then this one has stripes. I just think these are really, really cute. Then she also sent some little baby socks. And I just love these. I mean, they look like shoes. How freaking cute are these? These are so adorable. <laughs> and then she sent him a plushy baby toy. And it's got teethers on the side, which will be really good. So he can hold on to that and drool all over it. And it'll be great. <laughs> This next one here is from my Aunt Sandy and my cousin um, Jenny. Uh, Jenny does like homemade baby blankets and stuff like that. So she made some of these for us. Um, here's one of them right here. This is so incredibly soft. Like I wish you guys could feel this. Like feel how soft it is. Oh, it is really soft. And she also made a couple of burp rags with chevron print. This one's gray. And this one is blue. Then she also made another blanket right here. Which I think is really cute with little puppies and teddy bears. And then she also made another little blanket which I haven't unwrapped yet. She has a little card here so if anybody's interested in checking out her homemade blankets I will leave it in the link down below. She recently moved to Michigan so I'm not sure if she's still making these or not but she has a Facebook page and an email for ordering them. So I'll leave those down below if you guys want to get a hold of her and see if she's still making these. Um, it might be a thing of like, maybe she'll start making them, you know, after they get settled. I'm, I'm not really sure. Like, she might be able to make them now. She might have to wait a few months until they get settled. I don't really know. But I'll leave her information down below if you want to go check out her Facebook page and place some orders. <laughs> um... This was also included. So freaking cute, right? It's Superman. It looks like bib overalls. It's a onesie. Look at the back. How freaking cute is that? I mean, it looks like it's got little blue jean pockets on the butt. That is adorable. Like, seriously adorable. And then this little outfit, I die. It is so... Oh, I didn't even notice the back until just now when I picked it up. So this is the shirt. <laughs> and this is what's on the back. And then here's the matching little pants. And it's got some pockets so he can, you know, put some cookies or something in it. I don't know. Why would you put cookies in your pocket? Um, let's see if we can kind of see how that would look. So stinking cute. I cannot wait to dress him in this. So just a little disclaimer. I took a little bit of a donut break because, like, I'm, like, 37 weeks pregnant. And if I can't indulge now... When can I? But anyways, the point of that is that I got powdered sugar on my shirt. So y'all see that. Just ignore it. It happens. <laughs> so this next one here is from my Aunt Penny and my cousin Kirsten. Uh, they are from Texas and they set everything up. So my mom put it all in a Cracker Barrel bag. <laughs> there was a bit of a mix up with this. They sent like a bunch of stuff. Um, one box was supposed to be gifts for the baby shower. One box was supposed to be... Um, hand-me-downs from my cousin's baby because my cousin just had her baby back in March I think it was March might have been April um, so she sent some hand-me-downs for Levi from cousin Ivan and there's a bit of a mix-up so like the um, hand-me-downs went to the baby shower and like the new gifts came to the house and the new stuff pretty much already got put away there was a few new ones that ended up in here um, but my aunt also sent um, gift bags for everything but they ended up in the box that came to our house so that's why everything ended up in here and da 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 anyways none of that really matters um but yeah all the new gifts already got put away and honestly I don't remember what's what because we've we've just we've been given so much so this one is already still together so I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in this bag 
So we have some bibs. It says, who's eating that? That's cute. Um, we have one that says, center of mom's universe. Dad's in charge, call grandma. <laughs> That's kind of cute. And then I'm a big hit. I was wondering what bag these were in. These are like um, those swaddle sack things, I think. I'm not entirely sure how to use them. I'm gonna have to look up a YouTube video or something. But you like swaddle the baby in these. I think they go like this. So baby's head will come out up here and then they're all swaddled up down here. Um, these are really neat. I think I might take one of these to the hospital with us. Oh, and it is so soft. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I was excited to get those and they sent us two of them. They got one in Chevron and one with the little whales on it. Man, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're definitely gonna take one of these to the hospital with us. Then they sent us some little jammies. How cute are those with the little doggy feet on them? I think those are so cute. So freaking cute, the ears flipped over. Few more things here from my parents. My mom also got us this little owl. And I don't know how well you can see here. It's got like this little projector at the top. So like it plays music and it like lights up stars um, on the ceiling, I think it is. So that'll be really neat here. You can kind of see on the back there. You can see that's what it's supposed to project as stars and all that good stuff. And she also got us um this like giant bottle and it's got like bottles in it and bottle cleaners and just all kinds of little goodies in there and the bottle itself is a piggy bank so that's kind of neat i can start putting money in there start saving now <laughs> and then my mom made this by hand i think it's so neat some of the socks have started to come off um but it is a sock bouquet and how cool is that like, like the socks look like little flowers i thought that was a really neat idea Okay, this next one here is from my mother-in-law. She gave us a big old basket that we can put all of the diapers in. And we've already got a bunch of diapers in there from the baby shower because we had people write little sayings on it. Like this one says, hold your breath. Um, it's dad's turn. So we just have all kinds of fun little newborn diapers in here trying to keep things kind of fun. And then his mom also gave us a big old wicker basket for dirty clothes. It'll go in his closet and it is full of stuff. So they gave us um, some crib sheets. Well, you can see those, there we go. Some wipes, pacifiers. We've got a thermometer. There's some spoons, another pack of wipes, some plugins, so he don't stick his fingers in any light sockets. Some dusted and cream. More trash bags for poopy diapers. Some disposable bibs. These I think will be really good when we go out in town. I think we'll have to throw these in the diaper bag. More regular bibs. And now that one says Mickey and this one is Mickey ears. More socks. These ones are superhero socks. Looks like Batman. And these are the ones that are here on the back. Got us a pack of bottles. Another little healthcare set. A sippy cup. Some body wash. A uh, thing to hang on the stroller. I saw this and thought it was a really neat idea. Um, you can do this for like shopping bags and stuff. It shows you right here. You can like hang it on the stroller, hang your shopping bags off of it from the stroller. You know, just take this off and carry it right inside. I thought that was a really neat idea. More spoons and more wool plugs. This next one here is a diaper cake that my mom made and I think she did a great job on it. It looks so cute. It's got the little rubber ducky blanket sitting on top. And there's all the diapers and all the goodies on the diapers. We can spin this. You can see there's like a little monkey there. Some socks. Another rubber ducky. There was a zebra toy on here as well, but it fell off. So that's in the nursery. And then she said there's more stuff inside the diaper cake to help fill it out. Then here is the little swing my mom got. For the baby. I love that little teddy bear insert. That's so freaking cute. And then it has little owls here on the mobile. And then this little guy right here, Mike's sister gave to us. And we're going to use this in our room for him to sleep in when he's first born. It vibrates and stuff. And we're just going to lay a blanket in there so he'll be comfy. And that'll be what's in our room. And then my mom got us a height chair. 
We haven't opened it yet because it's going to be a little while before we need it. So we're keeping it in the box. But that's one of the gifts our parents got us. And then Mike's mom and sister went in to get, um, to get us a stroller car seat combo for my birthday. So that's the stroller. It's kind of hard to see because it's in the back of the closet. We need to go put it in the car. But over here is the car seat. That's the one that we got. And it's got the little fold out thing right there. And then Mike's mom also got us, well his mom and dad, also got us a really nice rocking chair. And this thing is so incredibly comfortable to sit in. Uh, it is awesome. And then Mike's mom and dad also gave us a tiny rocking chair for when Levi gets a little bit older. And it's got a couple of little stuffed animals sitting on it that my mom picked him up. And then I have one last thing here to show you guys. I just thought it was kind of... Kind of has a neat little backstory behind it to how we ended up getting it. So I thought I would go ahead and share that with you guys. And this stuff is from my grandma for Levi. So it will be his great grandma. And when I was about eight or nine years old, she got a hold of each of our grandkids. Each of our grandkids. Each of her grandkids. Each of, you know, me and my cousins. And asked us to pick what we would like for a nursery theme for our future kids. Um, pink teddy bears or Noah's Ark <laughs> and I'm glad I went with Noah's Ark but she made a blanket set and um, there's also onesies and birth cloths but there's like a lot of those so I didn't dig those all out but I thought I'd show you guys the um, crib sets that she made and I have hung on to this all these years um, like I said she made these when I was like eight or nine um, which is really awesome because She's now in a nursing home and, you know, there's there's no way that she could really get a gift for the baby or anything like that, but she's already done that. And I just thought this was worth sharing with you guys. So this is the blanket that my grandma made for Levi when I was eight years old. And it's got the Noah's Ark theme on it. And this is what the back of it looks like. And then she made a little pillow to go in the nurse to go in the crib along with um, some little extra pillow shams and I believe these are the sheets to go on the crib so I just thought that was worth sharing with you guys I thought it was a really sweet idea it was a really good idea um, it was one of those things at the time that it was kind of like you know I am like years away from having kids but looking back now that I have this that I can pass down to him and use for him and tell him you know your great grandma loved you before you were even thought of this is it's just something worth you know keeping and passing down and um it's special <laughs> i mean the blanket my mom made is special as well but i don't know i guess just a little bit different um just because i guess she had the foresight to you know my my grandmother was my grandmother was an excellent seamstress back when she had the full mobility of her hands and could use the sewing machine and for her to think about her great grandchildren and and for her to want to make them something from her um knowing full well that there's possibility that she may not even be alive by the time they were born um i think was just really neat and it's makes it a little extra special but that is everything for my baby shower haul this completes the second video this is the end of the second video um i will be doing a nursery tour uh once we get everything put away and set up and then i will also be doing a what's in my hospital bag and what's in the baby's hospital bag that'll essentially be like a what's in my diaper bag type of thing um, so those videos are to come, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, thank you for sticking with me if you've made it this far. I know these videos are very long, um, but if you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I'm snuggling the baby bump. I love how he has his legs wrapped around my leg. <laughs> He's all snuggled up to my baby bump. You're such a good boy. Got the little tail going. And we've just been hanging out here, having some cute snuggles.